Alright, here's a new fan I got at Fanimation. This is a high line ceiling fan, new in box. I'm guessing that's the company's name, I'm not too sure, but it's kind of like with the Dynasty Hugger ceiling fans. Something like one of those type of fans, I guess. But I got it because I just really like this fan a lot. The anti brass huggers with a score that's going in four ways is something that were a major childhood fan for me. And this exact one's not a childhood fan, but this combo right here is just something I really like a lot, so I figured I'd get it. Also, when he posted a picture of it on the group, I really wanted to get it from him. Yeah, I told him in the comment that um one of the comments when he posted it on the Facebook group that if he was to ever sell it or part ways with it, let me know that I would buy it from him without any without any hesitation. And I got it. So um yeah, the box is in somewhat rough shape. He was gonna ship it to me with another box just so he can preserve this one since I can definitely see why, but it is on it is in rough shape definitely. But uh, yeah, it's it's just a fan that's pretty much the same situation with decoded up regency or regency, whatever you wanna call it. Where the blades on the box are actually different from what's in it. As you can tell, it's an old blade of stencil. But I'm totally fine with that. It's not a big deal. I actually got it more just because of what was on the box. But I could always just swap the blades from the code up right onto this to make it exactly like the one in the box. Which I could do. But, yeah. Oops, put it on the box. Yeah, and this side's all worn out. But I'm just going to turn it to the side to this. So I'm um, yeah, for balance with blades. So they came in antique brass, bright brass, white, and and, and brown. So yeah, we'll actually we'll let the things fan in brown first would have been pretty interesting. But um yeah. So I will be doing an unboxing video of this fan of course, even though you can kind of see a the blade finish on it somewhat. Um I'm still a fan that I don't want to unbox even though Fans in rough shape. I mean, the box is in rough shape, not the fan. But, um, yeah. So, I'm going to be doing a few videos of this fan. One of the. I'm not going to be doing a video of the code up blades right now, probably later on this year. Um, I'm going to be doing a video of it with School has Global Moon and without it. Because it, has, it gives you that option. So, um, yeah. The model of it is BK500, and it's a 50 short ceiling fan. But I used to see fans like these all the time as a kid, and having one that actually has a score that's gold with it. And also, I just don't see, you don't really see too many four bladed fans like this no more. You usually just see generic huggers or generic builder fans from the 90s and 80s that are five bladers, not really the four blade ones as much. But um, yeah, I'm very interested to see how well this fan performs. And for the fact that Lewis Weedman had it, I feel like, I know from what I know, he caused more of the higher end fans. Um, I know he doesn't really collect a lot of the cheaper fans. Like, I like all fans, but the fact that he had is, um, from what I've been hearing, this is actually one, a pretty, it's not a high quality fan, obviously, but it's a, it's not like a cheap, like, latex fan from it, from whatever this, whatever year this fan is from. It's definitely like one of the better fans, the builder fans and such, so, um, yeah. But yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more videos to come.